Halloween celebration turning into scenes of horror in South Korea. That's where at least 146 people are dead and 150 are injured. The victims were crushed by a large crowd that stampeded in Seoul. The crowd surged forward on a narrow street that's a popular party spot. The revelers had heard that a celebrity was at a local bar. More than 400 emergency workers and 140 vehicles were deployed to the streets to treat the injured. Now, South Korea's president is calling for officials to review the safety of festivity sites in the wake of this tragedy. One witness describes how those jammed couldn't breathe. Hi, Alexandra. Just minutes ago, uh, the death toll went up again to about 146 now uh, and 150 injured. Um, so it has essentially almost tripled since uh, I arrived here on the scene uh, a few hours ago. Uh, it's just, it's kind of evolved. The scene here was quite chaotic. I was walking past people, you know, in their Halloween costumes, on the phone, in tears letting their family members know they were okay. Uh, a lot of those people have now left. They've actually brought in buses uh, to, to, to bring people home, and they, they, the government has been sending out these emergency alerts by text message asking people to leave this area. Uh, there has been an increase, though, in the number of emergency uh, personnel, like these police officers here, firefighters, paramedics, now numbering more than 1,700. But let me give you a paint a picture for you of, of where we are. This is E Taiwan. It's the iconic nightclub district here in Seoul. And Halloween is one of the biggest nights of the year, especially this Halloween post COVID. This is the first uh, Halloween uh, without without pandemic uh, crowd uh, restrictions in two years. And so, as you can imagine, tens of thousands of people in costume came out here very excited to many of them drink alcohol out outside and celebrate with their friends but in this area here there it's a side street um, and we can kind of peek the camera around here Charlie so you can give people a look you can see how narrow how narrow it is um, and, and and we have pictures that I posted on my Twitter I don't know if you guys have it but basically there were thousands and thousands of people jam-packed into this very very tight area packed so tightly that we have we've been we've been given a description essentially that that uh, people uh, were piled up upon, uh, over each other um, and so the, some of the injuries people who fell were crushed uh, there were people um, who called uh, more than 80 calls from people complaining that they actually couldn't breathe they were suffocating uh, and a number of the victims died from cardiac arrest because their hearts simply stopped and out on the street here, now it's empty, but this is one of the, the areas where on social media there were videos of people just lined up down this sidewalk, uh, lying there lifeless um, with, with paramedics, friends, uh, desperately trying to perform CPR and to revive them. But, the, but because some of these people were just so badly hurt, the number of dead has continued to go up every t time that we get an update the death toll has continued to rise because the injuries in this crush were just so horrific and uh, this has risen to the level of a national uh, disaster here in South Korea the president convened an emergency meeting uh, he sent a disaster management team here and that's what you know the people that you see out on the street here you have investigators as well as you know firefighters and police to control the situation uh you know the roads here have been blocked off this whole area has been blocked off wow. they're trying to get all of the halloween partiers out um and and the videos that have been emerging alexandra on social media are just so gruesome and horrible to look at uh it it, it because and, and we actually saw we actually saw a lot of the bodies being rolled out on stretchers even though they had sheets covering them you could see their Halloween costumes mm -hmm. you know very very distinctive Halloween costumes and a lot of the families uh, simply do not know uh, whether their, their loved ones who were out here and these are young people in their late teens early 20s primarily 
they just don't know whether they're whether they're okay or not. I talked to a young man who was actually caught in the crush on that narrow street. He said it was so scary because he just couldn't breathe. He could not breathe and there was nowhere to go because there were so many people around him. When he finally got out of the area, he was able to get a hold of one of his friends, but he said that another uh, three of his friends um, who are, uh, he says, American uh, service members who are, who are stationed here in South Korea and were on leave for Halloween, he has not been able to get a hold of them. They are wow. still missing. And that's a story that I keep hearing time and time again as I talk to people out here. Uh, they're on their phones frantically trying to get a hold of their friends who were somewhere in that mess. And what maybe they're in hospitals. Maybe they're safely home and just they're you know haven't turned their phones on or so well. They what could are, be on that growing list of, of, like of, right of people who were killed and who have not yet been identified, Alexandra. What a scene. Well, talk to us about what time it is there right now in Seoul, and and quickly, you know, what what are what's the scene like right now? Yeah, so right now it's about 4.20 in the morning here, um, and uh, uh, this is around the time that, that there might still be some clubs that would have been open, uh, because this is, as I mentioned, this is Eat Taiwan. This is um, people fly in from all over the region uh, to come and party here in this particular part of the South Korean capital of Seoul. Uh, all of the hotels in this surrounding area are fully booked. It's, it's almost impossible to get a room. Uh, and again, people were so excited to come out post-pandemic. This is the first time that the crowd restrictions were fully lifted, uh, that you just had huge numbers of people uh, swarming here. And so these streets, which are now full of emergency vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, were earlier in the night just lined, you know, packed with people. You're talking about tens of thousands of people easily. Um, and uh, there's going to be a real reckoning now uh, to, to try to really look at how this happened. Wh where was the crowd control? Could, could they have done anything uh, to, to prevent this? Because, you know, the, the pictures that, that, I, that I was shown were taken two hours before the actual deadly incident itself and even at that time the streets were dangerously dangerously packed with people clearly here in south korea uh they're gonna have to take a very hard look at, at what happened and how to prevent this sort of thing from happening uh, because sure people want to come out and have a good time but nobody ever ever expects for it to end like this